Hello, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to search for a data in a data grid view using C Sharp. Let me show you an example. I have here 10,000 records loaded from the database into a data grid view. In this example, we will try to search for a specific record based on the receipt number. Let's attempt to search for this one. R, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 9, 2. Click the search button. As you can see, we are capable of searching for data displayed in data grid view. I've also added a reload button here. If I click it, all the original records will be displayed back in the data grid view. I will show you how to do it step by step. Make sure that you finish this video so you won't miss anything. But before we start, welcome to Kadev Tips, your ultimate destination for programming tutorials and all things code related. If you're passionate about learning to code or improving your programming skills, you're in the right place. But before we dive into today's programming tutorial, I'd like to invite you to become a part of our growing community. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of programming knowledge and stay updated with the latest tutorials we release. So, go ahead and subscribe now, and let's get coding. First, design your program. Add the following objects, two buttons, one for searching and one for reloading, one text box, and one data grid view. Once you're finished, let's start coding. Go to the form load. At the top, add more using directives. Specifically, using .system.data.sql client. At the bottom of the form load, let's add a new method with the name load data. In this method, we will place our code to connect our program to the database and display the records in the data grid view. Just follow these codes. Declare a variable for your database connection string. Ensure that your database server, name, user ID, and password are correct. Declare a variable for your SQL script. Make sure that the table name you will use is correct. In my case, it is the table sales. Next, declare a variable for your SQL connection and SQL data adapter. Create a new dataset. Open the SQL connection. Populate the dataset using your SQL data adapter. Close the SQL connection. Finally, set your dataset as the data source for your data grid view. Now, call the load data method in the form load event. This way, when you run your program, it will automatically load your data from the database into your data grid view. Let's run the program now. As you can see, it automatically loads all our data from the database into the data grid view. Next, let's add code to our search button. Double click the search button. First, go back to the load data method. We need to move the declaration of our dataset to the top so that our dataset variable becomes public and accessible from anywhere. Once you're done, return to the search button again, and then add the following code. First, every time we search for data in the data grid view, we need to set the data grid view's data source to null and clear the rows in the data grid view. Create a new variable for our filter. Just follow this format. The receipt underscore no here is the column name in our database table where we will search for data. And this is our text box object where we will input data we want to search. Create a new dataset variable. Now, copy the records from our dataset to the new dataset using this code. Next, create a data view variable. Next, assign the default view of the dataset to our data view variable. Next, 
Add a row filter to our data view. Finally, set the data view as the data source for the data grid view. Now we have finished adding codes to our search button, but before we test it, if you found this tutorial helpful so far, consider hitting that subscribe button below. It's a great way to support what we do here, ensuring that we can continue bringing you valuable insights and guides. Now let's test it, run the program. Let's just look for the receipt number that we're going to search. Let's search for this one. R, 0, 0, 0, 3, 5, 6, 1 and then click the search button. It's working. We have successfully added a filter based on the search button. Next, we will add code to the reload button, so when we click it, all the original data should appear again in our data grid view. Stop the program. Double click the reload button. First, set the data source of our data grid view to null again and clear the rows. Lastly, Reset the data source of our data grid view to our original dataset. Let's try the reload button now. Run the program. Search for any receipt number. And the click the reload button. We're done. I hope you learned something from our video today. If yes, please give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button below and comment if you have any topics you'd like us to cover in our next video. See you in my next videos. Thank you.